Hello, hello everybody. So I just wanted to make this video as a bit of a recap of everything that we have built so far. So I just wanted to show everything before we continue on with any future expansion throughout Elsamore and just go through some of the facts and just have a real good look at everything that we've done so far so it doesn't get too confusing for all of you guys. So by now you guys probably are aware that we have the two countries. So on the left side is the country called Al Samhara and then on the right side is the country called Burjazir which is the country that we've been working on a lot throughout this video. Uh, most of the expansion has been in Burjazir. We have the major cities such as Bersheva and Safed and those two have been really really interesting and fun cities to build. We also have our other little island town in Burjazir which is called Basra Island which is the one that has all of the harbours, all of the boats going around collecting all the fish and things like that. And the other two smaller towns in Burjazir is Samalut which is the forestry town and we have Abu Hafar which is kind of a outskirt town which is part of Bersheva, the capital. So far in the capital of Burjazir which is what we've been working on the most. So we've put in the the downtown area, which has the big boulevard area, which we still haven't yet, which we still have yet to complete. We've also put in the university, which is pretty well hidden throughout the suburbs. And we also have the tourist area and a lot of different, just random expansion. Uh, the most recent addition would be this new harbor area over here, which I personally think looks really really cool and suits the area really really good. Currently Bersheva at this point is the biggest city in the whole map and of course it is the capital. It's got about 21,000 people so far which isn't that big but the city is probably only what 60% complete and there's still so much more expansion to go. One thing that I really do like about Bersheva is that it's kind of it's situated between the big lake here and then the whole big harbour area so it really confines where we can build and it really allows us to build up more instead of sprawling out and another thing that I really like is how I've sunken the highway throughout Bersheva so then that basically allows us to build a little bit more instead of having a highway a highway cutting down through the middle and segregating one side of the city versus the other side. Another main addition throughout Burjazir would be the highway upgrade. So this is one of the first highway upgrades we made, which is one of the important areas where the vehicles can merge off the main highway and go onto the more rural highway, which provides them options to go into Bersheva and then also all the way up to Safed right at the end of the peninsula. So if we look at it from this point, it goes all the way up to the end, up to Safed. Uh, this would be one of the major highway entrance and exit ramps on this point here. And then you can see we have the older highway to the left and then the new highway on the right, which goes right along the shoreline. Over here we have Safed, which is the second largest city in Burjazir, which has about 5,100 people. It's not really that big, but I personally really like it because it's kind of, it's just on the tip of the whole area. It's, it fits in very, very well. I really do love the harbour area. I love the walkways along the beach area. And I really like that we have a lot of boats in this area. It makes it look really, really lively. And it just, it just looks like there's a lot going on. So it looks really, really cool. Of course, one of the other main additions for the whole map was the border crossing right here. 
So we did determine where the borders are, which you can't really see because we just put down little posts so you won't really see them from if we zoom out. But this point here is our border crossing. So we had to build this big facility where all of the cars will kind of go through this pretend border security area where they will pretty much cross the border. Realistically, it's just a toll booth, but um, don't tell anyone that. If we have a look at the other country now, which is called Al Samara, we really don't have too much going on in here yet. So after this video is released, I'll probably start to look at this country where it's going to be a little bit more modern than what we've seen throughout the video. Currently we have one major town, which is Al Samir, which is right out the back. And we have Al Samara city, which will eventually be the capital where all of the, you know, the big capital buildings are going to be. We also have Al Burj, which is a nice little tourist town. Not too sure if there's going to be more expansion on this point. We'll just have to wait and see. We also have this little village here, which isn't really of any importance just yet. But all along this area that we're looking at here will eventually be the future site of the capital for Al Samara. Al Samir was the first city on this whole map. I haven't really showed it off too much just because it was already here and I wanted to build more cities on camera with everyone instead of just showing what was already here. It is a pretty condensed city. There's no major road system. It's very, very old fashioned. It technically does have everything you need and it has a lot of canals going through the whole area. I will probably do more expansion on this this town, this city, but as for now, I think our main focus will be more on the capital. We also determined this was the free island where no one has really yet claimed this space, so I'm not sure which country will claim it. Maybe it'll be another country, a third country. I'm not really sure just yet, so we really just have to wait and see how the whole map develop, develops and just see what fits in here for the future. One of the major additions to the capital, Beersheba, was this little tram system here. So that basically runs throughout the whole city, covering everything that we have built. But eventually, as Beersheba grows, we will need to add in more tram lines. But right now, that's just one of the main additions, which actually functions really, really well. Uh, there's really not many vehicles going throughout this city. And yeah as you can see like there's a lot of people using it which is actually really really satisfying so everyone that was just a quick recap of everything that we've done so far uh, we've built several different cities we've got lots of road updates lots of boats going around everywhere some public transport but still so so much more to go and i really really do look forward to everything that is yet to come like i said we're probably going to merge more towards into the other country which is called al samara and leave burgess here behind a little bit just so we can start progressing the more modern areas anyway thank you guys for watching and don't forget to stick around for all the future videos